hello everyone you are welcome to another tutorial video of read one Tishon and you in this video i will proceed to show you on how you can load your structural member in preta structure and this particular video will be on how you can load your beam with a member load in the previous video i showed you how you can load your beam with a partition wall load and in the previous videos i've shown more method on how you can load your beam you can load your column you can load your slab and you can even load your whole structure with a wind load if you've not seen these videos i've actually created a playlist for these videos and the link for the playlist is in the description of these videos so you can check them out and have an insight about them so let's just start by creating a member load for this beam I would like to create a member load for the beams in story 2 and then currently you can see that my grid line is in story 2 so I will start with this particular uh, with this particular beam so just click on it then you can go to edit member load okay so when you click on that click on this one to create a new load now you have three options you can either create a rectangular load which is also the uniformly distributed load you can as well create an irregular load that is what you have in the second phase here and then you can create a point load so we are going to do these three but let's do it one after the other now for the rectangular load you can click on the rectangular load then all you just need to worry about is these two items that you have here you do not really need to worry about this let's assume i want the value for my dead load should be three kilonewton per meter and then this should be one kilonewton per meter then you just do it like this then you can see um, this has been placed there but there is one disadvantage of member load the disadvantage is when you add the load you are not going to see the pictorial visualization of the load the load is not going to be visible you can't see the load so um, let's just click on ok then you have two methods of calculating your load you can either use the finite or you can use the yield line so this time around let's say you want to use the yield line you can you know you can use it like this and then if it is the finite you know you can you can do that so you will see it over here you see your g which is your dead load is three your q is one and then the adjusted load you can see whatever and the safe weight is this the safe weight is there already okay so um if this is okay you can just click on okay you know and then the load will be added but just as i said you will not be able to visualize the load okay well can you copy the load of course you can copy the load just like this you can see it's a copy manual load then you can just copy the manual load then you paste it anywhere you want to paste it just like we did in the last video okay so um let me show you another way you know we've created a rectangular load so let's try to create an irregular load this time around so click on this one and then let's edit the member load now i'm going to create a new load so click on new load and then you can see we have the um the regular load at the center now you can work with all these points you know you just click on add more and then do as you want okay but this might take a lot of time so just click on this load editor now you have six type of loading you have this one you have this 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 so you will pick the one that best describe the type of loading you want to have you can see you have irregular loads here okay so um let me use um this one that has been selected you know you can pick anyone and then use it you know so just fill the value so let me pick this first um this last one you have to check this diagram very clearly the x a b c p1 and p2 everything is here so you just fill them up so x the total length of my beam is five meter you can see five meter so um my x let my x be equal to um one meter then let my a be one meter as well let my b be one meter let my c be one meter okay then p1 let my p1 for the dead load be three while this is um one for live load let this be two i want this side to be higher let this be two and let this be um zero point five okay now i'm just adding any load then you click on zero uh, you click on okay then you can see you can see the top one that's that's the representation for the dead load then you can see another one for the live load then after this you can also pick any of this you know the load can be applied on top it can be applied at the side that is the right side or the left side so depending on where you want to assign the loads to you can pick any of this okay 
so i want the load to be assigned to the top so this is what i want to pick then you can see that the point has been fixed on their own you can see one zero zero two whatever you know the value has been fixed here okay so if you do not want to use the load editor you can just come here and then be inserting the values as you like so here click on okay then you can also decide if you want to use the yield line or if you want to use the finite you know just like that then you can see the value for the dead load here then live load and everything like that so if that's okay just click on okay so that is how you go about that and then let's do the third one which is the point load i'll click on this you go to um edit member load and then you can click on new load then you come to the um point load so all you need to do is assign the value for the point load let the value be three here for the dead load for the live load let the value be one okay and then i also have to you can see this is in zero the point load is applied at zero so let me apply the point load in uh 2.5 meter okay so the position is 2.5 meter you can see it is at the center and then if it should be applied at the top or the sides you will know what to pick among these three so let it be applied at the top then you click on okay and then um you can just click on okay so this is how you can apply a member loot to your beam in product structure if you find the video helpful make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider giving it a subscription thanks for watching